Democrat Party's ultimate strategy, when in doubt, cry racism. New York City Mayor Eric Adams, he's so new on the job. He unloaded on reporters yesterday for their coverage of his failure to reduce the city's crime epidemic. Take a look. I'm a black man, that's the mayor. But my story has been interpreted by people that don't look like me. How many blacks are in the editorial boards? How many blacks are determined how these stories are being written? Everybody talks about my government being diversified. What's the diversi diversification in the newsrooms? Hmm. A little defensive there, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, sure, people are being stabbed and beaten to death on subways, followed into their homes, uh, but he's the real victim. Is his outburst just a deflection from the terrible state of the city? And why can't New York seem to elect a single effective politician who's not a whining whiner? Here with me in studio tonight, owner of Neosage Consulting and host of the Sharp Way Show. It is Larry Sharp. Larry, welcome back. Great to have you in the studio. I am so happy to be here. Absolutely. It's crazy. You are right. Uh, the reason why New York State hasn't been electing the right people is they haven't elected me yet. That's, That's true. That's the problem. If they would elect me, would be okay. But this is really a... This is the perfect example of how the left and the right paradigm ensures that as long as we're fighting each other, we don't have to solve anything. Yes. So as long as I can blame the other, I'm good. So yes. you get mad at me because I'm black, I'll just say it's racism and I don't have to solve anything. Or I'll say it's a culture war, or you don't like me because I'm left or I'm right. I don't solve anything. I just keep saying the other guy's bad. Yes, and it's a shield that, that one uses so they're no longer subject to criticism. At all. But we have to be able to criticize our leaders because, you know, we have high expectations and reasonable demands to live in a safe city. Used to be safe. Uh, de Blasio ran it into the ground. Press hated de Blasio. He's a big, dumb, white idiot. That's true. That, That's you know, true. things aren't happening fast enough because people are scared and a lot of people are suffering. So, you know, Eric Adams may be right. There may be lily white editorial boards at the New York Post and yeah. the Daily News, but still he's got to do his job regardless of who's working at those publications. The issue here, though, isn't that whether he's right or he's wrong. The issue is there's no infrastructure to make anything happen. There's no, there's no culture to actually fix anything. You've got to have a culture that's based upon solutions. Mm -hmm. How do I fix something? What, what, how do I make something happen? Look, when I ran for governor in 2018, that's all I talked about was solutions. How do we fix school, going from K through 12 to K through 10? How do, we, how do we change how we do taxation? How do we raise money for infrastructure with leasing out naming rights for bridges? These are ideas that I came up with in 2018. It's why, if I may, please do. I can announce that right now, I'm going to be running in 2022. This year, it is official, I will be running for governor here in New York to make more changes, to make things work even better, and to give more ideas so that New Yorkers can, to your point, actually vote for somebody who can fix and things. And you have been shot out of a cannon. Uh, you have six times as much support in the polls now than you did in 2018. And we're at the beginning of your candidacy. 100%. So it's, it's interesting because, you know, you talk about schools. A lot of what you talked about was theoretical in 2018. Mm -hmm. But it is actual now in 2022. And that alone... You know, if you capitalize on that the right way, the Arizona Senate just passed a bill, so money follows students mm -hmm. and not systems. Absolutely. And the funny thing is, from 2018, I can say I told you so a whole lot, right? I'm on record with what I said, what was wrong, what was failing, and it's clear. But I have something else on top of that. You talked about in your last segment about, you know, San Francisco and how a coalition got together to actually knock out the establishment. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Not only am I going to be in a libertarian line, but I'm also looking to be on the forward line. Andrew Yang's party. party. Andrew Yang's party. Absolutely, yes. He's on board. We're ready to rock and roll. But not just that, the Unite Party, trying to make Unite also a line here in New York State. Now, we're having a lawsuit right now on how we can make that happen. But that means I'm going to be on three separate lines. This is my plan. Three separate lines. That's more than the governor will be on. She'll only be on two. Right, so I'll actually be on three. Yeah. That's a coalition. I said I was the only person who could bring in the left and the right, and now I've proven it. We can actually do it. We can have a, a human-centered a human -centered economy. We can have an economy that brings New Yorkers back. We can save our state. We can end the exodus and make New York yeah. State a great place there to be. There are enough independents. There are mm -hmm. enough liberty-minded people, not, ju not just in New York, but across the country. Yes. And they're desperate for something. They're desperate Absolutely. for someone to say, no, we can actually make this better. Absolutely. This isn't this isn't just a pie in the sky laundry list of things that we'll never accomplish. Uh, you know, these are real tasks that, that you have laid out. 
And you did a great job in 2018. Can't mm -hmm. wait to see, to see what you do in 2022. Thank you for announcing. It is going to be magical. It is LarrySharp.com. If you want to check me out, please sign up. It's not just me running, by the way. You know, Shane Hazel's running in Georgia. Ricky Harrington Jr.'s working uh, in Arkansas. So we've got a lot of libertarians out there trying to fix things. Yep. But for me, it's LarrySharp.com, and it's sharp with an E. That's right. And, and the E stands for? Everything under the sun that... Electable. That's right, Don't forget, Larry. electable. <laughs> yes. All right, let's make that coalition happen. All righty. Thank you so much. Great to talk.